Um, in the remasters, the water in Hang 8 isn't dark enough. <laughs> is that so? Well, I'll have you know that I took color samples from both, and the water in the remasters is actually slightly darker! <laughs> Your arguments about the Insane Trilogy not being vibrant enough are quite silly to be honest. Look how identical they are. Now I'm sure when the game was first revealed your arguments must have been at least a little valid. But that was the first look we got at the game, did you really expect that to be the final product? Just three months later they fixed everything you could have complained about. And there's still two whole months before the game comes out. Imagine how incredible the final game will look. <laughs> well, and even the crystal grab looks pretty lame in comparison. And that's just fucking crystal grabbing. Oh, caddy, 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 as much as I adore your content, this is a huge mistake on your part. If you were really knowledgeable about your beloved Bandicoot, you'd know the crystal grab you showed is from Crash Bandicoot Warped. Meanwhile, the crystal grab in the remastered was from Crash Bandicoot Cortex Strikes Back, which doesn't do that sparkly thing in the originals either. And the rest of the major complaints are about something as insignificant as the spawn animation when you enter a level into Crash 2. In all seriousness, to those who are huge fans of the original trilogy like I am, Please calm down. Is a spawn animation really what makes Crash crash? Is the crystal grab really what makes the original trilogy the original trilogy? I grew up with the PlayStation and the original trilogy, and I actually want the Insane Trilogy to be better than the originals. Even though it's not made by Naughty Dog, it's still Crash Bandicoot, and I love Crash Bandicoot, and if you love something, you should always want to see it improved. And if the Insane Trilogy brings a bunch of new fans, please don't be classic elitists like the Fire Emblem or Sonic fanbase. Please, please, please welcome the new game and new fans with open arms. If you can do that, then Crash will last for a very long time. I know, and you know, that we both don't want him to die again. Ah, uh, but if you're really so worried about the remasters, then take a look at this. Activision actually sent a demo to Naughty Dog, and they loved it. That's right, the Insane Trilogy, the remasters you're nitpicking at, has the Naughty Dog stamp of approval. Take that. And if that's still not enough, a Twitter user by the name of Bring Back Crash got a chance to actually play it. And when it comes to Crash Bandicoot, this guy really knows his stuff, trust me. He said himself that the insane version of Crash 1 is the definitive version of Crash Bandicoot 1. That means he already thinks the first game in the Insane Trilogy is better than the original. And that's a good thing! Don't you want Crash to be super good? Get high reviews, be very successful, and continue on for ages? I know I do, and hey, there's no shame in saying that the Insane Trilogy is better than the originals. It doesn't mean you have to like it more than the originals. So I guess what I have to say is don't worry, let it happen, and love it when it happens. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Go pick it up June 30th.